what's up? This is rap is. And so I did some research and it turns out that Charleston White is reporting King Yeller to the police over a Say Cheese interview. And so people was always saying Vlad TV was a police. Vlad TV was a feds. But now it turns out that a Say Cheese interview is what is getting King Yella caught up with the law again. Now, I watched the entire Charleston White police phone call. He, he live streamed it. I posted it on my last vid. So check that out if you need to catch up. But Charleston White got on the line with the police, the Las Vegas police. He made about five different phone calls before he could get in touch with the right one. And he he was talking about King Yella's a gang member that's threatening him. And then he's saying he got shows that he does in Vegas as a comedian. And his life is now being threatened by a gang leader in um, Las Vegas. And he, he had King Yella's full name. He gave the police his full name. It's all on tape. They had to mute out part of the tape. See, if you don't catch that um, that video of Charleston reporting King Yella, it might be gone later on that's what happens sometimes because they already messing with the video there's certain sections of the video that they muting out now because it's real it's getting real deep now check it out it looks like this could end up being more serious than king yellow thinks because king yellow responded when king yellow responded he's saying that it's just some internet stuff it wasn't serious he's saying like uh he don't even stay in the same state but Charleston White went out of his way to make sure the threat that he to make sure that police knew that he felt threatened. And so here's the thing. Um, King Yella did threaten Charleston White in this video. The link is in the comment section in the description box if you need to check it out. So check out the link and you will see that King Yella literally had threatened Charleston White in the video. He said he's going to smack the fire out of Charleston White when he sees him and he put it on something. So that's a clear and present threat on video. Now look, about Say Cheese being, you know what I'm saying? It's not like he made King Yella say that. That's what people was getting on Vlad about. It's like you can't really get on Say Cheese about this because Say Cheese isn't the one saying the stuff. Now, he asked the question. Of course, he had to ask the question because the interview has to be interesting. The only thing King Yella could have done is said that he ain't going to speak on it. That's all he had to say. He ain't going to speak on that. But King Yella's on a roll right now. So, he, you know, he's used to talking a lot now because he, he got his channel going and he's, he's doing a lot of blogging now. So, He's used to running his mouth more than usual now. So so he's saying a lot of stuff on the Internet now, and, and that's what he's getting paid to do. So he, he became a talker. So now it's it's probably a lot harder for him to say, you know, to figure out what what he should be saying and what he shouldn't be saying online. But he went ahead and threatened him and he can't take that back now. Now, the only thing um the only thing anyone could do was say cheese, really, because it's on say cheese's platform. If this was on King Yella's own platform, he King Yella could have took the video down. But it's on say cheese's platform, so King Yella can't doesn't have real control over whether say cheese wants to pull it or not. He can call him. He can call say cheese and ask him to take that video down. It's up to say cheese though, so because it's some incriminating evidence on there. And the probation officer might not care if Charleston White started it. Because when you're on parole, they don't really, it's, it's not going to be a fair, it's not going to be a fair system like if if uh, King Yellow was uh, free of all charges and off of probation, off of parole and all that. If, if he was off of all that, he would just be a citizen. So, they, they would have needed more evidence. They would have needed to have, you know, look into it more. It would be not so, 
easy for them to do something about it. But since King Yella is on parole, it's not going to be that hard for the parole to um, to call that a violation. They don't they don't really need to figure out who made the first threat or not. They just need that evidence that's on that video. So that video might end up getting King Yella locked up. But the thing is, if they do lock him up, it would probably not be that long. It would probably be like six months or something. I don't think they would, or maybe even a few months, depending on how serious they take this. I mean, it's up to them, but like I said, 600 Breezy just went through a very similar incident with 6ix9ine. And they only they gave him six months. So it's not like he's going to be sitting down for like five years or something. You wouldn't think over something like that. You know what I'm saying? If, if they violate him, hopefully they uh, or they could even maybe negotiate house arrest or something. Maybe hopefully, you know, depending on if he has a lawyer or not. I mean, it could get serious. It could get legal and it could get serious. And, um, and they might sit him down and or they might let it slide. Cause Charleston White is wild. He was he was saying a lot of crazy stuff on 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 that video as well. You got to go back on the rap his page to catch all the updates on this. Cause Charleston White was talking real reckless too. Yeah, he was talking real reckless, but he said he loves snitching. Charleston White loves snitching. He's saying. He's saying that's what he does. He said. He, he, you know what I'm saying? If he feels threatened, he's he's going to snitch on you so he don't have to do something else to you. You know? So, he, he's promoting it and he's, he's promoting snitching and he's against gangs. He's saying he's a black activist. So, he's saying like he, he ain't for all the gang stuff and he, he's, like, he's against it. So, he he talks his stuff and he's he's a, he seems like he's real serious about this stuff though. He had just gotten into it with six hundred breezy. So breezy, uh, luckily breezy had his conversation was grown man. It sounded like Charleston White was talking his stuff. Breezy was talking his stuff, but it didn't get to the point where they was unprofessional about it or you know they were they didn't get real ignorant about it. You know they. They handled it, and it looked like Charleston White respected the way Six Hundred Breezy came at him, because it wasn't it wasn't too wild. But for some reason, he he ain't playing with King Yellow though. And and the thing is, they had already made peace. I think that's why he's real upset because um, Charleston White had already made peace, and 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 he it sounded like he even apologized to King Yellow for playing with him last time. And talking about his daughter. And he had said that he was just playing. He ain't going to do this. He ain't going to report on or nothing. And they was cool. But then after that Say Cheese interview, that's when Charleston White got mad again. Because cause, uh, King Yellow went back on that peace agreement and started threatening him, uh, threatening uh, Charles White again. So now, now he said, well, I'm going to show you I'm not playing about this snitching stuff. He, Charleston White went ahead and made the call. And he's trying to get King Yellow locked up. So I'm going to keep y'all updated as more information comes in. You can stay tuned on Rap Hits. Make sure you're signed up to Rap Hits social media and email newsletters for all updates and all the newest music. We got a music page too if you promote if you need some promotion. All right, I'm out of here.